yeah how to uh, like to start a conversation in english with strangers what are the basic uh, requirements you need in hello hello good morning indrajit how are you i am doing great and how are you ma'am long time no see yes right <laughs> i'm good thank you for asking i love your background i all yeah. like yeah even the I last know. time I, yeah yeah i can see in somewhere in between trees yeah you can yeah. see yeah is that is that a lake or something like a pond uh, pond yeah pond yeah 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 a lake is something different right yeah i'm not the best with geographical features and okay. water no bodies problem. yeah the differences between them sorry <laughs> is it not yeah, hot out there oh my god scorching hot right that even inside it's so hot so it must be very yeah i don't yeah, even have the heat Mm. Oh yeah, then it would be very difficult. Right, right. I have a question before we proceed. Is the lighting okay? I've just like, yeah, switched the we'll... lights up. Is it okay? Okay, that is good. Yeah, you look okay. clear. Okay, 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 great. So, how have you been? Tell me. Yeah, the job is going well, and it will be doing really well, mm -hmm. and all the things are going like. like summer <laughs> what is like summer supposed to mean <laughs> like summer <laughs> it means like as usual in the summer it would be like okay okay nothing interesting uh -huh. <laughs> okay so do you like summers more or do you like winters more no i like winter because like i can winters? tolerate the cold uh -huh. but i can't yeah. i can't tolerate the heat of the summer right But like okay, I'll change the question a little. Uh, question, I will change the question a little. Would you prefer the winter of West Bengal or the winter of let's say Himachal Pradesh? Oh, If you had no. to live there full time. Oh my God, then it would, it would be very difficult. I think. Right. I think it is. I think that it depends only on the like where you live. Hmm. Uh. and in that situation you can change your mood like you will like i think that you will like summer than winter if you stay right, right. full time in the like cool country or hill station right cool weather so have they ever been to an hill, been to a hill station during winters someone called okay okay yeah go on go yeah So I was saying, have you ever been to a uh, been to a hill station during the winters? Uh, luckily not. How can I say <laughs> luckily or unluckily? But no, yeah. I didn't stay. But yeah, I will definitely enjoy the like weather there mm -hmm. in winter season, especially. Let's see. And have okay. you been to there? I once went to Shimla and Manali around like five to six years ago during December, like just after twenty seven, twenty fifth of December. So that time, so it was quite during, cold. Quite cold, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Uh, we were not. And mum, yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ken. Oh, just yeah, uh, something strikes in my brain that I mm -hmm. have uh, one question to you. Mm -hmm. Like may I ask? That is hypothetical question. Yes, yes, sure, go ahead. Ah, uh, for example, uh, suppose there is no existence of English language, then what mm -hmm. will you, what will you choose as a second language? Ah, <sighs> I think I'll just stay with Bengali and Hindi. And like, oh, do Bengali I have to choose something else? Because you know for us indians we have we are multilingual right so <laughs> yeah i think this would be a better question for people for like for people from the us who have just one language oh. even europeans have so many yeah. languages at least like they are fluent yeah, in two to three languages i think americans mostly yeah. other ones what about you uh no it is a difficult but i can say that uh, like i want to choose spanish i don't know why but i want to choose mm -hmm. spanish 
okay i think that uh, i want to enjoy their culture and i want to know the culture there all right and also it is widely spoken in the world yes so i think it's the think. most uh, spoken language uh, right After maybe English, all i don't know uh, okay. i think that uh, maybe it is the most la- most widely spoken but i want to learn this after english or there okay. is no existence of english <clears throat> language mm-hmm. so do you know any uh, even a little bit of uh, spanish no right i now? no i just uh, heard about that and i okay. try to grab it but i couldn't <laughs> do that all right will you will you try in the future maybe maybe yeah definitely i will try some words or some Uh, like basic words at least uh-huh. to start a conversation or to right. greet someone right right and i think it plays a it leaves a great impact when you try to mm-hmm. when you speak somebody else's language so, even so it if is, it's just two sentences yeah definitely it is a great feeling i can say see uh, my first language is bengali so i if as i am practicing spoken english mm-hmm. it is very interesting and enjoyable to learn such new language and it is the right. necessary nowadays right it's the necessity nowadays yes it is the necessity nowadays right yeah it is really a good thing to learn different language to expand your right. knowledge exactly exactly even i i mean if i had some kind of super power i would like like to become a polyglot i mean it's very oh polyglot oh okay. right it's very fast yeah. i love languages you know i i mean i don't put in enough effort <laughs> i say i love languages but i don't do anything about it but i would love to know different languages there are so many youtube youtubers ha uh, huh. yes, polyglot yes. youtubers there's Polyglot. this one particular one who travels to different places actually no he travels to different places in new york city you know like there's the oh, china okay. town or the indian uh, you know locality the indian community locality yeah yeah I mean, in inside new york city and there he okay. goes and he speaks in those uh, languages you know wherever those people are from and they get surprised and there are a lot of mm. funny videos and people people are always so touched when you speak in their language especially when you see a foreigner or somebody who would not expect to know your language them speaking yeah. in your language and then they treat him very nicely and kindly it's very sweet i love those videos yeah so I, I, i can wonder. sometimes it pops yeah. up on my feed also on my youtube feed right yeah you are also you also speak so do you speak uh, on your channel do you speak only in english or like do you speak with other uh, sometimes i speak bengali or hindi but most, uh-huh. mostly i speak english all right on all my right. channel okay and yeah. okay ma'am yeah i have yeah. one question like yes. how to uh, like to start a conversation in english with strangers what are the basic uh, requirements you need in with language? strangers Yeah, strangers or maybe like you know, but you didn't talk to him or her, but you know okay. her face or his face. Uh huh. So what do you mean requirements? Ah, uh, like what are the things you need to remember, like how to start a conversation or something like that. Okay. So is that is that an English related question you are asking, English, or more like yeah. a communication related thing that you? I mean communication. Yeah, that is like. uh how to start a conversation in english suppose right right so i'm not sure if this uh, is restricted But, just to yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah so we can i think that we can go ahead with greeting right or right something. or maybe you know maybe a compliment, compliment. so hey i okay. like your shoes or yeah it, it, something like a, that you yeah. know it's more of a this is more less of an english thing i think this would work in any language Yeah, yeah and i okay. am not the greatest when it comes to uh, just striking up conversations with, with strangers I'm, i don't think i have ever done it maybe with some girls in the you know in my wash colleges washroom where i could i might have said that hey and i show something like that but i think that is one great way of starting i think that yeah compliment is a good way to start 
a conversation right yeah that that's right i can agree with you yeah or maybe relating to them whoever you want to speak with in some way maybe they are reading a book so talk about them talk to that but then in if somebody is reading a book you cannot just go and i don't think it yeah. would be very Can't nice disturb. yeah you can then maybe ask uh, a permit like ask their permission or like just like yeah. hey can i talk to you for a sec can you can yeah. i talk to you for a second something like that you have to see if they are yeah. available and they are open yeah, to conversation <laughs> these are the great ways right yeah. and i think body language also also plays an important role especially in this setting Okay. not everybody might be open to speaking with strangers right so yeah maybe how they are sitting if they are making eye contact if somebody makes eye contact that's a great way to know that they might talk to you they are they might be open uh, to it a lot of people you notice they don't even look you in the eye so maybe in that cases in those cases they might not be very open to the idea uh, so you should have so, uh, good eye contact <laughs> i mean yeah you know there's some or i've read that how their which which way their legs are pointed towards if they are sitting and or mm. yeah they i'm not i'm sorry i'm not giving you any proper answer but there are so many little things eye contact is one good way of knowing if you're looking at somebody and if you see that they looked back and there was at least one second of an eye contact so maybe you can then go and talk to them or like i oh. said yeah i don't know it's it's a general feeling i think i'm not I, like i said i've never done it i don't think i've ever done it so i have no practical experience but i've just read about but yeah whatever thing. you have said yeah those are like on the point i think that we can discuss or we can go ahead yeah. our conversations with these points right and have you compliment always works though compliment That's always works sure. yeah yeah have oh. you you are the complaint yeah yeah <laughs> uh, have you like uh, i mean have you talked on the road ever like while other watching others are watching you like right now i i Ooh. feel that <laughs> do you feel conscious do you feel conscious a little conscious right now yeah a little But conscious are there people i don't see a lot of people around yeah something yeah, they are passing around me okay okay so i have i mean oh, you have Uh, i mean uh, once i was outside i was in a mall there were a lot of people around i was talking to my friend so but then i don't know these days i've just gotten less socially conscious so i'm like okay. it's okay if people are watching like i don't give a i don't care it's okay <laughs> let them yeah. watch i've just become mm-hmm. otherwise you can't focus your conversation yes 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 absolutely okay so uh, about i'll ask I'll ask you. So you have been here and on different platforms along for a long time. So how much changes have you seen, confidence-wise, or like you know this kind of being conscious uh, in yeah, those terms? Yeah, I I got so much confidence that I can speak English in front of this area, this uh-huh. situation on the road, and I right. can focus on my word. Uh-huh. So it it uh, like. practicing english on such platforms like clappingo it really helps me a lot to boost my confidence i can't deny that and okay. meeting with new tutors and conversing with them on a daily basis this right. is the great way to practice your english and i uh-huh. think you can uh, take out at least 5 minutes or 10 minutes to speak in english otherwise if you are not in the practice then you will forget absolutely absolutely and yeah yeah that's and, why i am yeah 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 okay okay great great yeah so i have another question apart from english you know okay. communication wise did you have any issues before and joining any of these platform or how did you fare like how would you rate yourself 1 to 10 on how good uh, you were at communication yes uh, like uh, while communicating with others Uh, i used to like i used to co- forget like how to okay. behave or i mean how to talk with the okay. how like how to tone your voice like rough voice or calm right. voice so i learned it gradually right. mm-hmm. uh, while practicing english 
and also okay. in in the context wise i change because when you mm-hmm. are very excited then you have to <laughs> then you are showing something uh, happy voice or you are like you are good in mood but right. when you are sad or when you are discussing with serious topic or awareness something then mm-hmm. it is it is quite different right so those so i learned it yeah those things i've learned that's nice yes and, and uh, yeah 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 sorry go ahead no, no. yeah just i want to i am curious to know that uh, how is your day going like any oh. interesting thing or are you i think that you are preparing for okay. you are preparing for government job right that's why yeah that was the case currently i'm doing clapping home mostly full time you can okay. say but there are yeah. other things also going on oh good good that's good. so you are available yeah. on clapping home right now right i mean i am regular for i've been regular for the last two months like okay, weekdays okay. i'm will... available definitely oh, okay weekdays so i think that i can book a lot of sessions with oh, you absolutely absolutely i love talking to you I, like i said i've even watched your videos It's yeah, been a while it's, since I last. It's mm. a great feeling, I can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I. So, how is your channel going? Are yeah, you still active there? Yeah, the channel there? is going. Yeah, I'm still active there, and the channel is going really well. But yeah, views are getting low sometimes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Like okay. ups and downs are everywhere. Is the part of absolutely, life. Absolutely, absolutely. You have to fight always. You have to right, right. fight for the position. You have to struggle mm-hmm. for the existence. <laughs> absolutely, and these. these i mean become being a youtuber is it takes a lot of effort right you have to be consistent and you have to constant hello hello ma'am yeah sometimes yeah. it's a very yeah. hard to stay there right right like consistency and then maybe uh new kinds of like yes. creative creativity you have to keep on coming with new kind of novelty Absolutely. in your videos Yeah. Uh, true, true. So how long have you been? How long has it been for your channel? Your I have started my channel 2020 lockdown. So since huh. then I have been uploading videos, and yeah, it is going well, and I can say that I am enjoying this That's time. That's amazing. That's amazing. And you are also working, improving, and working on yourself. So that's yeah. great. Yeah. Right. Through your and you can share your journey with so many people. Yeah. Exactly, and this is a great feeling always. Right, that's nice. And you can also say that I'm a YouTuber. Like you, you work, you have a side hustle, and yeah. just juggling so I'm many things. That that's amazing. I'm not that big YouTuber, but yeah, I can say that I'm a YouTuber. I can help but, the people. But you know, people. to become a big YouTuber, you will have to be the level where you are at currently at some point of time. Only then you'll become a big YouTuber someday, right? True, true, true. <laughs> so true. you're on the right track. Thank you, thank you. Okay, then I think our call will get disconnected, oh. right? Okay, yes. yeah, we are running out of time, and <laughs> right. it is lovely to meet you again. And Absolutely. Your smile is 